Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. Brand new to the channel box, Generation Genius. Like, if the box is this cool, the stuff inside has to be pretty dang awesome. So, see this guy here? You gotta go to the website. Their website, plethora of information. And this is just one of the many things they do. They have like these online things they do. This guy has partnered with other scientists to do all these things. I was on that website for quite a while. Just, I guess, intrigued with this whole world out there that is built for kids. So we're moving into summer, right? We get out of school in what, a month and a half? And I'm like, okay, we are not gonna be on devices all day. We are not gonna be sitting around saying, I'm bored. So I've started to lean in to find things to do. So the Generation Genius Science Kits are monthly. They're $49.95 and they do offer prepaid discounts. And if I remember correctly, they offer large prepay discounts. So like if you take out a three or six month subscription and you pay in advance, which means you're done and it's stress-free, you save a ton of money. I do want to say go down to that link below and see that because I was quite impressed. On top of all of that, uh, if you use my URL down below, you're gonna get your first month for free with a subscription. Um, I think shipping's $12.95 in the US, but if you sign up for a subscription of three months or more, shipping becomes free. Like it really is, becomes a really good deal if you plan in advance. So that's my tip with this box. I got the nine plus, cause my kids are nine and 11. So I wanted the older version. And it does say it's good to have an adult parent around, which I think is great. Cause I have a tendency, whoa y'all, to get in to work, like hanging out in here with you guys or working on the house, like remodeling the bathroom and knowing that the kids and I are gonna do this together is a good accountability for me to balance my time well. But Generation Genius is a K through eight teaching resource that brings school science standards to life through fun and educational videos paired with lesson plans, activities, quizzes, reading material, and more. Videos are produced in partnership with the National Science Teaching Association, and they have a 100% guarantee, money back guarantee. If you don't like it, reach out to them. So I love that they are confident in their product. I love that they are partnering with the National Science teaching association, teachers and scientists. So this isn't gonna be boring, which I think is key. On here, when we first open it, it says, hey genius, welcome to your science kit. Here's the URL to go to and the password to go to. So for summer, um, we're working on what those standards look like now. During the school week, my kids get no iPad. So Monday through Thursday, there's no devices, no iPad. We can do family movies. Uh, on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they get up to two hours depending on what's going on. We haven't set our summer expectations yet, and I'm gonna have to balance that because I don't want this to take away from, you know, like their Minecraft and Roblox and whatever other games that they're playing or the art drawing game. So I'm gonna work on that. But look, it says it has everything in here we're going to need to complete our science experiment. So these are gloves. Those feel like safety goggles. Uh, <laughs> we've got a sticker here. Information on our kit. Experiment 16, the purple bottle experiment. Okay, so this is gonna intrigue my youngest the most because her favorite color is purple. So instinctively, as a little girl, she's gonna be drawn to that. Experiment 17, make your own fossil. Oh my gosh, I feel like this box was curated for my kids. That's gonna be perfect for my oldest. What? Experiment 18, make a cold and hot pack. Generation Genius, unrippable paper. Seriously, try it. What the heck? So look. <laughs> so I'm supposed to try to tear it. It feels very terrible. Just, you know, like feeling it, it feels like normal paper. I would assume it would tear. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah. Come here real quick. Generation Genius. Unrippable paper. Seriously, try it. Well, it's double layers, so do I... 
Can I take it? Let's go. You thought you could rip it. Oh my gosh. Can I like cheat? Oh. Ah. Okay, so uh, you had a sharp object. Yeah, my teeth. Your teeth but popped I mean, it. That's like a... But without cheating with a no. sharp, sharp object. No, oh my gosh. <laughs> But when you when you first got it, you were worried that you were gonna rip it. Yeah, yeah. It it looks, that's really cool. Okay, that's it. Science. <laughs> I think the girls are gonna like that. I'm gonna make them do it as well. Okay. Um, let's just start with this guy right here. So I think these are safety goggles. Yes, they are. Okay. Ooh, good. My lashes don't brush on them. Then we do have, I think these are gloves. Let's see. Yes, so we've got small, medium, and extra small gloves in these bags here. So this card right here says, your kit is part of batch one. This kit was assembled in Los Angeles, California, and is part of our first batch. It is very special to us and comes with white glove treatment. If anything is not perfect, please let us know and we'll take care of it within one business day. Bang, they aren't playing, are they? I like that. So this is the hot and cold pack. So we have whatever these nifty things are, calcium and magnesium chloride and ammonium nitrate, a little baggie, like swimmable cell phone cases. You know, like the ones you can put your phone in and dunk it underwater. There's two of them. Oh, and there's several of these little baggies. Okay, when you go to the website, this is what you see, and it has all three experiments. So I opened experiment 18, the Create the Cold and Hot Pack. So I'm gonna click on that one. Okay, it has a full video on how to do it. It shows your materials. It has step-by-step -step instructions. Very, very cool. And so I see why they say adult supervision is required because you can see that a kid can do this, a kid can read this, there's minute markers for them to jump around, they can pause if they need more time, but in the same right, if something were to spill or go wrong, you would want an adult there to lend a hand type thing. So it's not required that you're like, doing all this work. It's more of a supervisory role from what I can tell here, which is what my kids would prefer. They don't want me bossing them around while they're doing their project, you know what I mean? And like super navigation friendly at the bottom, boom, back to all experiments and back to that main page. Okay, so this is where the rubber meets the road. We gotta get the kids over and have them do an experiment and see if I guessed right. I'm gonna put them all back in the packs, we'll see what they say. I think Paige is immediately, my youngest is gonna grab this one and my oldest Emma is gonna grab this one, but we're about to find out. Okay, so I'm gonna hand you guys the iPad and y'all are gonna select the project that y'all are doing. Yeah, the purple. Yep. Purple bottle. Okay. Hey, welcome back. As you probably know, I'm Dr. Jeff, and today I'll be guiding you through three experiments in this month's Generation Genius Science Kit. Now it's called the purple bottle experiment because this is a bottle of purple liquid. Well, what's in it? It's a kind of dye, like food coloring, except this one is purple, and it's not one we eat. It's called thionine, and this little card here that tells you what's in it, and it's used by scientists when they use microscopes to stain different things they look at. That's pretty neat. Now, remember that this can stain. That's why scientists use this to stain stuff. So please be careful of it. So simply open it up, it's got a little seal there, just carefully peel it off now. Now do wear gloves, okay? This is not, this stuff is not dangerous, but it stains. And carefully just sprinkle it inside like this, get it all in, perfect. 
Swirl, 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 swirl. Whoa! We just shake that for three seconds. I didn't... Now, in order to make something a chemical reaction happen faster, we sometimes need a catalyst. Purple. Perfect. Whoa! <laughs> So it went purple, clear, purple. Now it's blue. Look at Shane. Oh my gosh, it's clear. Wow, that's super interesting. That's really weird. Is it clear again? Yes. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Wow. Shake, 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 oh shake. Oh my shake. gosh, look, look. Wow. It's, it's purple. purple. It's a little tornado. Now and now watch closely. Now it's light purple. It's changing again. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. It is now clear. clear. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. so if I'm ever bored, I can go sit at my desk and just like. <laughs> okay, you ready to start Emma's experiment? This is experiment yeah. 17. Make your own fossil. I'm actually excited for Blank. this one. Blank. Okay. Something. Push play on the instructions. So I want to let her get everything out. Oh, okay. Hey, look, it's a dinosaur. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Uh, our triceratops go down. Okay. <laughs> I like dinosaurs, and we are going to make a fossil of a dinosaur. I'm playing with a bunch because each kit has a different dinosaur in it. What's your dinosaur, Emma? Um, I think it's some sort of Pedasophilus, but well, I can't pronounce it. Um, man, yeah. He looks cute. Then, we're going to take this mold putty out of the jar, and we're going to put it inside the container, like mm, this. I love putty. Uh, so, start by slowly working it like this, and pulling it. Why is it so Take hard? your time. It's pretty strong, but we need it to be strong to make a good fossil. Bit of a pancake. Once you have a little bit of a pancake, then we're gonna keep making our pancake. We're gonna push this way. To make our dinosaur fossil, we're gonna take the dinosaur, and we're going to press it into the putty, okay? It's easiest if you stand up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna use two thumbs, and we're gonna try to press it straight down for 10 seconds. Seven, six, put the muscle into it. Four, Three, two, one, good, perfect. All right, there. Nice, the nice. Now, don't come out. Hey, you wanted to keep the dinosaur. That works out good. Well, you don't know that yet. Oh, that. <laughs> Go. Hard, hard. You blew it. Eight, nine, ten. And pour it right inside like the this? dinosaur. What did I do to you? A little help, please. This is really... I did good. <laughs> Fill up the whole thing. Give it a little tap. If you don't get all of it, that's okay, but you want to get close. Last step, you're going to take it and just shake it a little bit, a little bit like that, which flattens out the top. And now, you're just going to pick it up just, just a little bit, like less than an inch, and just give it a little drop. Not super hard. You'll make a mess. Now... We need to let this plaster become rock hard, which means we have to let it sit for one hour, 60 minutes. I can't That's wait that really, long. really, really important. Not 30 minutes, that. 60 minutes. If you try to take it out less, it will probably break. Hey Siri, set a timer for 60 minutes. 60 minutes, starting now. Thank you, Siri. So I'm just going to eat dinner. Let's eat dinner, we'll come back. Now, you can tell that this material is quite hard. And now, you can peel the dinosaur. Whoa, it's so cool. Is it coming out? Okay. Yeah. The blue bunny. A that mold cool? of a real, well, it's not real. A oh. mold of a... It works. So oh, my God. Cool. That's really strong. And it's smiling. And That's cool. He's smiling. It's really strong. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. You can keep this as a science souvenir. Woohoo! That's Woo. so cool. Okay, so y'all have one more left. What do y'all think? I think this is an amazing That box. was great. It actually looks like the dinosaur were smiling, though, and that is, it's like, cold. my favorite I, part of it. Cold and cold. This putty is nice. It's yeah. blue. I love blue. What do y'all say to Generation Genius? Thank you!
Well, that was a success. The kids loved it. It wasn't hard. They could easily get on their little iPad and follow the instructions. They could do it together. So for us, even though there were three, three different experiments, it gave me six times the stuff because both girls got to interact and play with all three. And of course now they're trying to recreate their own versions of these things, which is really, really fun. I also noticed that they put the iPad up and they did the activity and then the iPad was pushed to the side and the activity was the focus. And then it became like, let's go recreate this. And they didn't go back to the iPad, which is a huge win in my book. So this is the first time I've done this. Uh, first impression is we're going to do this again. Very much liked the quality, the experience, the easeability, and the funness here. And then if you're worried about the price, go check that out. I'm telling you the price drops so, so, so much with that prepay discount and the savings on shipping and everything. So it becomes very affordable with a three or even six month subscription. Okay. We have only just begun with this. I are at that time where I'm going to start trickling out uh, summer boredom busters. I'm going to write some blog posts. I've never done this before. I've always focused on creating videos for y'all, but at this point, I've made so many videos with amazing boxes that I feel like I need to gather them all up put them on one blog post for you guys just to reference at your leisure. I mean, there's the coupon code site and there's a subscription box directory, which you can go to the kids category and you can look at everything. So that is pretty quick and easy, but I feel like having a specific summer board and buster box post would be beneficial. So look for that to pop up in the next month or so as I uh, get myself together and start working on it. What other boxes do you guys recommend for summer boredom busters? I feel like science is a category that's popular with subscription boxes. We've got a few different really good science ones and I'm super thankful for that. But what else is out there? Speak in to me, tell me more. We're gonna start diving in, leaning in, but I want real user feedback. I know every box owner thinks their box is great and that's wonderful, but you guys are truly gems. Like y'all know the ins and outs. And so I wanna hear from you guys on what you think is best. You can comment here on the video with the box name. Um, we also have the Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group. So at any point you can interact, dive in there, ask questions, etc. But comment here and let me know what you guys are thinking. All right, you guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous Friday. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.